Okay, so I'm breaking out my jelly plate. First time I've used it. It's a, a virgin jelly plate. So, and this is from Jelly Arts. This is the 8x10. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to park that somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to peel the top off. Set that aside. So I don't lose it or use it for anything else. And then I'm going to flip it over onto my plexi. Ooh, that's an effect. And peel this side off. Now it's not going to go anywhere. Except it's got bubbles underneath. Let's see if we can't get rid of those bubbles for the camera. Hmm. Let's get rid of the bubbles. I'm like putting on a uh, screensaver. Try to get rid of the bubbles. Oh well, that looks even worse. Oh well, uh, I guess I won't worry about it right now. The bubbles are on the bottom, so I don't think it can. It's gonna fix like that. It might fix by itself. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't think. Okay, it's slightly sticky. Just slightly. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, so. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do first. Um, let's see. Well, let me just let me try to do what I was doing before. Okay, and see if it's going to work. So I have yellow. And I'm going to put some yellow. This is Dina Wakely uh, heavy body acrylic paint, and I've got her first set. I think there's uh, ten, four, eight, nine, ten. Okay, twelve. Whatever. Twelve. That's good. Okay, so I've got my little brayer and I'm just gonna like drag it across lightly. And this is a la Kate Crane. So Kate Crane was doing this. And so I'm gonna see if I can't get kind of the same effects she was getting and you know first time out hey uh, you know whatever um, I forgot to get paper out you know oh that was good <laughs> I forgot to get paper hello <laughs> let me see what I've got over here Oh yeah, I was really ready for this. Right. <laughs> okay, I've got some... Uh, this is that expensive paper, but that's okay. I'm going to play with it anyway. Um, because that's what we do. Okay, this is that Tomo River paper. Um, yeah, uh, details later. 52 GM, whatever that means. I have no idea. I'm not Japanese, so I have no idea. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a piece of this. And it's got two sides. This is a slick side, and this is the other side. So I think I'm going to go other side down. Okay, like so. I can see the paint sticking to the paper. This is a good thing. Now this paper is really strong, so let's see what happens. Ooh, nice. Oh, very nice. It does curl though. Okay, that's that's nice. Oh, now I've got it stuck to the hello to the back. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so I still have some yellow. All right, now I'm going to go in with some lime and do the same thing. Let's try to maybe do it in different spots. Okay, let's go. Let's start in the middle. I don't think I've got enough paint. I think I'm scared to use it. I'll get there. I'll get there. I will get there. I'm going to do a little white along with it and see. What happens? Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. Bring the paper back. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Now it's wrinkling. That's interesting. Wrinkling. Okay. Cool. I like. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's very cool. All right. Next step. I'm going to use magenta. That's what I did earlier. I was doing a test on a faux jelly plate and yeah, magenta. And it wasn't working too well. So I'm going to stick with my linear goings on here. Okay. I'll probably do another sheet with that. Okay. Down and okay. I have to be a little more careful placing the paper down when it's wet. Gently when it's wet. It's going to wrinkle, but that just adds texture. That's, that's okay. It's very thin paper. All right. Let's see if I got enough on there. Oh, look at that. Oh, very cool. Look at that. Awesome. Wow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to try. Let's see here. Let's do. I've got some more magenta over here. I'm going to do magenta and then make it pink. Hello. Okay. Let's do a layer of this. This time we're going to put the smoother side down. And push it from the middle and then go across. Just to lay the paper down, otherwise it's going to wrinkle. That's one thing we do know about this paper. <laughs> right off the bat, when it gets wet, it wrinkles. Okay. And I haven't seen anyone else use this paper for jelly plates, so hopefully this will be a good experiment. Ooh. Nice. Okay, now I want it pink. So I've got white. I'm going to pick up the white and move it over here and see if I can make it pink to go on top. Oh, yeah. Pink is nice. Okay, and I'm going to do some little white on top of that, just a little. Of course, I might want to go ahead and make that paler pink. Let's see. Now, let's use just a white. Although, I don't think this is going to have quite the same effect, but we'll try it. Okay, I'm going to flip the paper. Which way am I going to turn it? I'm going to go this way. Now, remember to smooth it from the middle out because it's wet. Now, we're going to have to try to do more layers once the paper's dry. This is not dry paper. It is wet. Okay, up we go. All right, we've got two shades of pink and a little white. Now, I should have done the white and the pink on top, but... Uh, might not have worked. Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, um, let me see. Do I want to go with turquoise? Let's put a little turquoise over here. And see what we come up with. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. Let me move over and bring this over. 
guys can kind of see me working the brayer here. I don't know if this is going to... Ooh, <laughs> got some white in there. That's interesting. Okay, let's go with what we got there. Let's head back to this piece, which is not dry yet, but I want to put this on here anyway. Let me see, maybe I'll work on this end over here. Let's see, how do I want to do it? I want to do it this way. Okay. So I've just got part of it on here. I'm going to peel it the other way now. Oop. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Oh, neat. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so I'm going to finish it over here. Doing it like opposite of where I was. I'll just go ahead and lay it all down. Okay, and I'm going to peel it up. So I picked up a little more turquoise from this side, and then we picked up some from that side. Look at that. Kind of looks plaid. It's interesting. <laughs> Okay, now we've got this piece. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, big time wrinkle. Bummer. Didn't want to plan that just yet. Okay. Yep, got a bunch of it off there. There we go. Interesting. Get the rest of it. Yeah, see, my bow plate just wasn't working. Okay, very interesting. Ah, 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 ah. I gotta watch that. Don't lay it on the jelly plate. It sticks. <laughs> it sticks. Okay, let's see. Okay, what do I want to do now? Um, oh, circles. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's bring the circle from back. Okay, how are we going to do this now? I need to move this, I think. Bring the circle plate back. And don't I have one that has a... Let me see. On the deli paper? I did it on the deli paper. Oh, I thought I had one of these that was... Hmm, well... Maybe I should dry this a little bit. Hey, gun. <laughs> oh, right. Come on. My cord's tangled. Okay, don't want to use it on the jelly plate, so I'm going to do it over here. That way I don't have to move everything again. <laughs> Let me just do it over here on the side. Okay, shouldn't take long. It's very thin paper. Shouldn't take long to dry. Yeah, that's pretty dry. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put some, um, let's see, what I, whatever, whatever I have over here. i got turquoise and white. Okay, so I'm going to just use this and I'm going to put some more white, I think. I'm glad I have a very large tube of white. <laughs> okay. Okay, now let's go over it. Rest of it. Okay. Now I'm going to take this one and do this end of it over, let's do the middle, let's just do the middle. Okay, I'm going to get my paper towel roll again. That worked well the first time. So we're just going to do that again. Okay. 
Of course, I have to learn how to do it without unrolling it. That would help. Ooh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay, this is fun. Okie dokie. Officially fun. Oh, look what happened. The turquoise got on the end where more turquoise was. That's cool. Oh, man. That's neat. Ah, awesome. <laughs> okay, let me see. This one is drying. Okay, I'm going to dry this a little bit. Watch out for the other jelly plate. Oh man, I'm gonna make a mess out of that one. All right, let's see now. Okay, let's put some more paint. Got some on the. Still got some over there. Some more paint on these circles. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, boom. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Get a little Michael Jackson in there. <laughs> Let me roll the paper towel roll back up. Okay, now I have to figure out to roll it one way. <laughs> yes, let's roll it one direction and to, to the other end. Now, that's how to keep it rolled up. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, those circles are totally awesome. Love that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. I like it. I don't like the plaid in the back, but I'll fix that later. <laughs> that will get fixed later. I need a clothesline. I can see that now. I need a clothesline. Absolutely. Okay, I have some paint still left, but I have some gray cardstock that I want to try this on. This is mostly white. There's a little turquoise in there. Kind of a really pale, pale blue now. But I want to try this on the gray. Okay, this is just pale gray. Uh, I think it's a Nina is the brand. All right. This is stiff enough. I can just go over it like this. That thin paper, you really can't do that. It'll sink down into the plate and then you'll have a mess. Oh, that's cool. Look at that light turquoise. That's awesome. <laughs> I like that. That is awesome. Hmm, that's very cool. Okay, now. How do you clean this with a baby wipe? Of course, I put that on top of the baby wipe container. Let's get a half of one since it's a small plate. Let's see. This ought to do it. Yep. That's nice. <laughs> Nothing like the real McCoy. Get a jelly plate, get the real thing. It works so much better. <laughs> yeah, I tried doing it my own with a vinyl, um, with a sheet of vinyl and some fun foam underneath, but it just, the paint didn't want to come off of the vinyl, so. You have to kind of scrape at it and it didn't come off much and it's like oh, okay really didn't work but this does so ta -da. <laughs> okay let me fix my palette sheet because I want to use this in a journal 
Okay, so I've got a really cool palette sheet here. Look at that. Now I'll keep layering that with stuff. That's awesome. Okay, uh, this can dry on its own. I can use a paper towel. But I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. I found it. Never mind. I'll just dry it and let it. It'll do its own thing. Okay, awesome. Okay, so um, doing that, then I can continue to do layers on these, like I can do stamping and stenciling and all of that good stuff. Look at that. That is fun. <laughs> What took me so long? I don't know. <laughs> and we cut it on the gray. And we played on the deli paper. I played on the deli paper with the, the faux ones. See, it didn't work very well. How much paint came off? It didn't, yeah, it just didn't work very well. But the circles worked great. And so once I did the circles, I thought, I gotta get the real jelly plate out. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> So, yeah, awesome. This pulled up a lot of the paint. It got most of it off of the plate. I don't know what they call these things, texture plates, pattern plates. I don't know. Good question. What is it called? Okay, it says, ah, Palatini, overlapping circles. Embossed gel plate. Ah, embossed gel plate. That's what it is. I don't know what Palatini means. No idea. This is the gel press brand. Impress impressibles. 7x7 seven seven embossed gel plate. Yeah, squeaky, squeaky. Goodness. Okay. Let's see. Good thing I took off the autofocus. Uh, yeah, you brayer it on. And that, this is what I looked at, and it says just do it, you know. Neat. Wow. A lot of instructions. Gently clean with mouth soap and water, pat dry with a paper towel. Gel hand sanitizer or baby wipes can also be used. Oh, well, there you go. Rub onto the gel plate. <laughs> Wipe clean, air dry. Okay. Um, tough stain removal, yada yada. Keep it on a flat, non porous surface. Keep away from open flames and heat sources. Yeah, I knew that already from watching all the gel press videos, all the jelly plate videos. Um, latex free. Oh, that's a good thing to know. <laughs> okay. Um, Roll paint for printing, place on top, gently rub. For stamping, invert and press on, oh, like a stamp. Oh, that's what this is doing here. Okay, do it like a stamp. Well, I don't know about that. I might mount it onto a piece of plexi first. Uh, it's kind of floppy. Um, can we use as additional texture options when working with the original mono printing plates? Okay, well, that's cool. Okay, very cool. Overlapping circles. Yep, like it. Like it a lot. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so this is my first play with a real jelly plate. I don't. I'm not really set up to do any more right now, so this is going to be a short video. And thanks for watching. And see y'all later. <laughs>